Hello audience, I am your GM today. Oh, what's my name? I think it here is. I am the bot of Botic Logs, and I'm bringing back my inner demons just like it's therapy. Yeah, but then again, they're my bounty hunters. And we at Botic Logs welcome you to Inner Demons, the Swampy Swamp Adventures. Episode 15. What a mochi clue we make. <laughs> and to think that out of the three of them, it's a troll that I actually enjoy. I like TT. Is that his name? TT? TT. Huh. You know, after you oh, freaking sweated him. Oh, yeah, the frog guy. I forgot. We did heal him and we did offer help. So, like, even Steven, right? <laughs> I stabbed yeah. him. In the... I think I did I stab him in the leg? Or was it like the chest or something? I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know. You stabbed him somewhere. I got him the javelin. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like I fucking launched that shit. Holy shit! <laughs> so we have made a deal with the troll, a very very nice deal, which was murder everyone. It, it was very surprising. <laughs> like as soon as I just heard you say like you pulled out the glasses, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, hang on. Wait a minute! Is it gonna be one smart character here? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, the troll turns to you guys. Let's go now. You guys get back and oh, right. enter, and the troll is now in front of you, almost. The troll, um, okay. he's like, let me just handle this, and you guys can continue on. And within a moment, he, he picks up this torch while he's going by. The dog looks up, he just holds up the torch, slams it down into the dog's head, Killing it instantly. Ah, Zena! Oh my god! He turns to the wizard. The wizard is shocked. Fire will hurt any ghost. And then just backhands her into the wall. He's not wrong! Wait, fire can harm ghosts? Excuse me? Yep. Noted. Oh. Alright, well, shit. Let's continue forward. This is, this is going. Very nicely. This is going very well. Mm. I'll guard the entrance. Make sure no one gets out alive. <laughs> you yeah. get in and have fun. Please. Thank you. All right, you guys should have control of your characters. Feel free to maneuver them around the area. You hear from roughly up this area uh, around nails. Let me go. Don't touch my dick. <laughs> no! I go see him. <laughs> I'm gonna. Join Corvus over here. As you walk and... into the area, um, you see this young lady right here. She has nails pinned to the wall, and like she's trying to use some kind of chalk to draw on him. It looks almost like uh, dispelling runes from the uh, look of it, Rocco. It looks like she might be trying to dispel uh, nails altogether. Well, this guy turns to you. What the heck? Go ahead and roll initiative. I'm going to use good. my maneuver ambush to get a D8 to my initiative. That is. And I can I use uh, my throwing needles to, uh, or my wasp needles to um, uh, restrain the person holding uh, nails? Yeah, you can do that. I'll be 11 to initiative. 11. And then Amleth. If you need your initiative. 17. 17. Total. Yeah, here. You're good to go. Okay. Uh, okay so, Amleth, you go first. Just outright pass in the wizards up. They're, they turn to you, what the? And you already have, like, the needles, like, in, like, a lasso being spun around, ready to about to throw them. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to throw it at this nice lady right here uh, on the far right holding nails. Mm -hmm. Or whoever's holding nails. Uh, I'm going to just kind of wrap have the needles wrap around them. Um, does that count as an action? Yes, that would be, I believe, your... This is an action to attack. The, the bonus action is you command them to wrap around them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Well, I just want to... So you take a bonus action. Okay, okay. So, it spins around for one minute until the creature falls to zero points. So how much damage does this do? That's the real question. 
they're just normal darts. So they're uh, magical darts able to like harm ethereal creatures. Um, oh. They don't have, I think, any damage bonus. This is just the restraining. So it's just like two hit points. No, no, a dart does one d oh, one d four plus your strength. One d four plus strength. So we are going to navigate all the way over here and do one d four plus natural strength. That is a four plus. So it like base strength like eighteen or like the strength modifier where modifier. plus four. Modifier plus four. Modifier so eight damage. So, and I'm guessing bonus action, you snap your fingers and like they wrap around her? Yep. Okay, so you slam the dart directly into her chest. She goes, ah, got droppy nails to the ground. Nails like, ah, free, bitch, stings her foot with his tail. And Nails starts running get towards over. you guys. Help, help, ah, they touched me. Nails, get over here. Ah, I'm coming. Like, I like move in front of Nails to get closer to him, to meet him. Mm -hmm. You meet like right there. The needles wrap around the woman. Oh, oh, bloody hell! No! Urgh. And then that should be your action bonus action. Anything else you like to do with reaction or anything to say to Nails before this guy has his turn? Uh, Nails, stay the hell behind us. Mm, I, I agreed. Agreed. And then I am going to back up right here. Okay. And then I conclude my turn. What would be the best spell for this guy? I'm like looking like, huh. Fireball. What would I do? <laughs> Walking up to you guys, seeing the situation, he merely just walks up to you guys and casts Cloud of Daggers. Oh, he walked into my veins? Yep. Brace, maneuver brace. All right, what does that do? As reaction, when a creature you see moves into the reach you have with a melee weapon you're wielding, you can use your reaction to expend one superiority dice and make one attack against the creature using that weapon. If the attack hits, add a superiority die to the weapon, damage one. All right, go ahead. 16 hit? Yep, that hits a wizard. <laughs> this is the regular that we ate regular now my superiority. I have a damage in total. All right, this guy's a, a little higher than the the apprentice. You know, he's gonna have a little bit more health, but uh, he's still pretty pretty wizardy, squishy. So you you don't kill him outright, but as he steps forward and he's casting cloud of daggers, you just hold your sword out and he stumbles into it, stabbing himself, impaling. Fucking idiot! And you just push your sword forward, and as he does, he just subtly mumbles. And cloud of daggers still pop around you guys. Gonna give me dex saves. Uh, Rocco and us? Corvus. Uh, just Rocco and Corvus. Uh, oh. Not Rocco, uh, Amleth and Corvus. Amleth and Corvus. Dex save. Ah, you don't think that's gonna make it? That's a 10. 13. Yeah, yeah, both oh, fail, sadly. Oh, wait, so it says advantage on dex uh, against uh, effects that you can see while not blind and deaf and inc uh, incapacitated. So that would technically be an advantage, right? I th on me. I think least. so, yes. And let's try again. All right, well, I'll take 13. <laughs> okay. So you guys do both fail. Uh, this wizard is gonna do a little bit of damage. I have designed this overall encounter as kind of like a glass cannon-y uh, encounter. So he's going to deal a little bit of damage. Sorry there. Uh, Corvus and Amleth, you guys are both going to take, as Cloud of Daggers comes out, 18 points of slashing damage. 18 points, alright. Out, but nothing that can't be fixed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Daggers yeah, pop into the air, swirling around, spectral like. You guys try to dodge it, but like, Corvus, your sword is stuck in the dude. So while you're trying to move, you're like, ah, oh, got my sword, fuck, ah, oh, and you get like cut up a little bit. And Alma, you just weren't expecting. You thought this guy was gonna outright die. So when fucking daggers start appearing, you're like, oh god, and like, you get stabbed right through the arm. Owie. With that, it would be the lady's turn. She's gonna attempt a strength roll to get out of your, uh, your things. She actually does 
for a fucking what the wizard. Fuck? What, what did you roll? 18. 18? Oh, wow. Yeah. How fuck you, PS! That's PS on my part. Fuck you, wizards. <laughs> the wizard, she undoes her restraints. And using her bonus action as a sorcerer, she slam uses quicken spell and tosses a firebolt towards Corvus. Does a 16 plus 2. 18 hit you, Corvus? Nope. Nice. 19 AC, bitch. You slam your shield in front of you like, nah, bitch. Oh, no, no, better. You take your sword and you just move her friend in front of you. He takes the firebolt to the back. Just, ah! <laughs> fuck you. And fuck you. <laughs> With that, it would now be Corvus, your turn. I'm gonna finish this motherfucker off. Absolutely. Wait, what do you mean? Wait. You don't mean, uh, Rocco? I mean, no, 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 no. Rocco is, uh, seventh on the initiative. Corvus would be next. Oh, okay, okay. I thought Corvus already won. Oh, no, he used a reaction. That's right. Mm -hmm. Every end. That probably does not hit. Yeah. No, no. He still has I base don't... 10 AC, at least. <laughs> I get it, I get like Hey look and that motherfucking one. God, go ahead and roll me your that one. Hey, roll me your base Holy damage God. real quick. Uh, a six. Alright, so you go to pull your sword out of this guy. And what happens is that as you go to pull it, he takes his staff, hits your sword upwards, and you again, you're kinda of caught off guard. These guys much different than the apprentice. They're able to A, take a little bit more than a hit. And as you can tell by the lady and this guy. They're a bit more combat experienced. As he slams his staff up into your handle, your sword flies up and smacks you right in the face. You're gonna take six damage as your sword just slices across your face. Fuck! That's certainly not good. And as a bonus action, I do second win. Fair enough. Then, Rocco, it would be your turn. Oh, hey, nice, Max. Perfect. That was not Max. Oh, I didn't see the plus five. Never mind. Half. Uh, I'm going to throw a firebolt at the one uh, closest to me. Uh, this fine gentleman here. Go ahead. Ah, shit. Bump the hit. Actually, that does hit. He only has an 11 AC. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> He's a wizard. He can't wear heavy armor. Mm -hmm. uh, 15 damage kills him outright you just blast his head off he goes flying back head scorched she screams like, oh, no Antonio baby then with that uh is that all you're gonna do for your turn yeah and then I'm gonna uh I want to be like a little bit back so like I stepped forward and then I stepped right back hey right, you're just like here and here gotcha okay exactly exactly yeah, you basically just peeked the corner, headshot the guy, and left. <laughs> Valid. All right, then, Amleth, your turn. I'm just going to run up to the other one and just uh, dual-wield uh, this motherfucker right here. So I'm going to do one. Uh, one of them is 24. That hits. The other one is 10 to hit. That does not hit. The first one hits. So the first one hits. Okay. Yeah, with and... the amount of damage I know you do, she's just dead. So how would you like to outright kill her? Uh, well, it's seven damage, so yeah. just to make sure. Yeah, okay. She um, had one. I am just, I'm just gonna leave. I'm, so, you remember that scene? Have you guys seen Watchmen? Yeah, a little bit. So, you remember when Rorschach, like, takes a cleaver and he, like, just slams it right into a guy's, like, skull? Oh, yes. Just like that, basically. That just, is like, brutal. Right down. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Just straight down over and over again. Yes. You basically just <laughs> angrily hur, 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 and you just slam her directly in half. Eventually, it's like she's like minced meat on the ground. I just pant like a wild dog. I'm just like smiling and panting. I'm just like <clears throat> Coming from your guys' right. You <clears throat> Hello there! Companions! Does there seem to be issues? I'm gonna use my bonus action. I'm gonna rage. Perfect. <laughs> I can imagine. I can just imagine that. The moment Abbott pulled that pose, he says, "Oh fuck you." <laughs> I'm just like, "Oh, there's gonna be trouble," and I'm gonna 
I'm gonna run right here. Perfect. And, uh, oh yeah, and just to kind of let you know, when I do rage, I get a, I get the form of the beast tail. Mm-hmm. So, there you go. Sweet. As you run in like a fucking beast, a, a mix of your rage, mix of this, the adrenaline, you're heaving and hubby. You're like going through like a monster. You look terrifying. As this man turns around, he looks to be like a battle mage wielding an, uh, a battle axe and having about medium sized armor. Roughly like maybe you, uh, by off, off handedly, he looks like he's wearing like scale metal maybe. He turns to you terrifying. <laughs> and what we're doing is I'm gonna give My. him his old companion's uh, initiative. So Alma, if you go first again. All right. <laughs> There's so many things I can do. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna try the battle axes again to hit. One of them is a 17. The other one is a 16. The they both hit. They both hit. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. We got 13 damage total. This guy, as you're fighting him, you're slamming your axes into him. Bah, bah, one after another, and it's hard. It's hitting. You feel like you're pounding this guy away, but then all of a sudden, you look up, and he's just unplussed. As it, it, he may have found you terrified, but your your damage does not seem to be uh, phasing him. Is that That's all you okay. like to do with your turn? I'll make him see pain. Perfect. Right. Is that all you like to do with your turn? Um. Yeah, no, that's that's about it. All right. So, holding out the uh, the battle axe, he goes, "Ah, you're a tough one. That's why they brought me here." And he goes to slam his battle axe into you twice. Now, Six. what did he roll to hit? Yeah, okay, so the first one will be a 22, and the second one will be a 27. Okay, so I'm going to use a reaction for my tail. Um, he's within 10 feet, correct? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to roll a D8 real quick, and just to make sure, awesome. Hopefully this works out. All right, so my AC for the reaction is going to be 21. I'm assuming he hits both. Yes. Damn it. So as you swing your tail, you get caught. He steps on your tail. And for a moment, you're like, oh, fuck. As he slams down both battle axes into your back. Or both battle axe swings. Overall dealing 22 points of damage. As can you give um, me a constitution saving throw? Huh? He deals 22 points of slashing damage, and I need you to give me a constitution saving throw. Oh, I also have resistance to slashing damage, so... Perfect, so you can half that. It'll be 11. Half that. And 11? That yes. Awesome. Perfect. And that is a constitution check? Yes, sir. Or a saving yeah, throw. Yeah, I don't know Saving throw, correct. Thank you. Constitution saving throw. Damn it. It's a nine. I, I, I suck. <laughs> okay. So, as you take the damage, you feel a, a thunderous hit your back. You get slammed forward into the wall, taking, let's see, 22 points of force damage. Force damage. That's not bludgeoning? Uh, no, that is a magical force. It's just like a, uh, it's the same thing that a magic missile uses. And that was 22 points, you said? Mm hmm. And. Then, oh. for his bonus oh, action. Oh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm, go ahead. Wait a second. Sorry about that. I gotta check something real quick because it says something about relentless endurance. I gotta double check just to make sure I wanna use it that I'm using it right. Uh, proficiency, skills, blah, 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 that's not it, that's not it, that's not it. Features, traits. When you get reduced um, to zero hit points out and not killed outright, you get one hit point instead. Yes. So would that work here? 
Did you drop to zero? Because I know. I dropped me to zero. I was at 16. Then, but yeah, he so did 22. All right, then I will go back to one. All right, and that's his turn. Ooh, I think that's the first time I actually almost downed you. Almost. All right, Corvus, it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to do a very dash since I don't think I can do what I want to do. Be a cool ass motherfucker. I'm going one up to the wall, up the wall, and cross the wall, getting to a point where I can jump over the person without triggering an opportunity attack. Okay. Give and me behind them. An acrobatics or athletics check, and you'll try to jump over the wall to end it behind him like this. No, I'm going. One up the wall, this okay. way, this okay. wall, this wall. Okay. That, then you jump over them and then try to attack. Oh, yeah. Okay, give me an acrobatics check and I think I can be cool with that. Because that would be so badass. 14? Look, it's a little stumbly. It's your, It's been a while since you wall ran, Corvus. You haven't really practiced it. You're not, you know, mirror's edge kind of good at it. You're not like holding the wall barely. You're like basically parkouring off the wall, almost slipping off the wall, but you still make it, barely. Go ahead and give me your attack. Cool. 12 does not hit. Mm -mm. It does not. I, 18 does hit. That does hit, yes. Oh, man. 11 damage right. from that one strike, and I'm going to some swords. What was it? You're, you're gonna what? Action swords, so Axis I get two more attacks. Two more attacks. Alright, <laughs> messes that up. 17 hits. That hits, yep. 7 damage this. Alright, how would you like to kill this guy with your final. Uh, your final oh, oh, yeah, I still have one more attack, but never mind, I don't. That doesn't count. Yeah, never mind, I take that back, I take that back. <laughs> I'm going to run up the wall. <laughs> Do that whole secret, stumbling a bit. Why a bit air, I'm going to slash him three times. With the final slash hitting his head and splitting it open. So I just do a cool ass barrel roll, get on my knees, with me on any of them. The, you know, the uh, leg on the floor, mm -hmm. kneeling, that whole thing. Yeah, like a power slide. Yeah. Gotcha. That'd be it. So you slice um, this guy's head open into a power slide this way. <laughs> Badass. So, Corvus, I didn't want to discourage you earlier, but I swear to God, if you act if you accidentally attacked me in that process, I would have been so I would have been so. Because <laughs> 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 this is not the first time that something like this has happened, and actually, well, this is the first time that something has happened, and it actually worked. Oh, hell. <laughs> It'd so, be funny, though. It would be very funny, but I, I applaud you for making it, because I was I would have been... I, I would not have been... <laughs> I would have been fine. Well, I have full ball healing potions, so your saving rolls do not matter. <laughs> right. All right. Temporarily, nothing happens. Initiative is gone and over. What would you guys like to do? Speaking of which, I'm going to give two to Amleth. Uh, how many potion? Wait, what kind of potion? So it's a regular potion of healing, so 2d4 plus 2 for me at least. Mm -hmm. I don't know about it for you. So 2d4 plus 2? Mm -hmm. So that would be yep. 2 of them, so 4d4 plus Yeah, 4d4 four four. plus 4. Uh, 19 hit points recovered. Alright, I am doing A-OK. -okay. I'm down back to two health potions. I really need to make a trip to clerics. Clerics, whatever. <laughs> That's why we I had you guys get pimped out before you left. You needed the health potions. <laughs> awesome. And with this, you guys can hear in the distance a subtle chant. Waka. Ula. Rata. And you hear two other female voices. Ara, Uga, Ara, Ara. <laughs> oh, fuck, oh no. And uh, you do just hear a uh, subtle chanting. What would you guys like to do? You do hear the troll outside. Uh, it sounds like he found someone else and is currently bashing them into the ground. Just the wet thump of body into a stone. 
Well, he sounds like you. Is there a window of some sort that is like emitting the chanting? There's so it's through this doorway here, and you can kind of tell it's coming from this is general area. Okay, I got you. So how do we feel about bombs? Just blow a hole in that wall. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that. Blow a fucking blow a... do it. <laughs> awesome. All right, so. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna place a bomb right where my character is. Okay. I'm gonna place a bomb right here, light it. I'm gonna back up right here, away from the blast radius. I'm gonna have like my own little Molotov ready. And as soon as that thing blows open, I'm gonna toss that shit. Okay. As you're, you're getting prepared, you see this little vine pop out. And a little version of Birch goes, Hello! How is everything down there? <laughs> Do you need a... <laughs> it's like while you're right here getting up, he like pops next to your head. Do you need any help? Healing? Anything like that? Um... Come back to me in about five minutes. Okay... Uh, as I... he leaves Almuth and you go back to like, setting up. Over here, a tiny birch pops up. Hello, you two! <laughs> Hello. Do you need any assistance? Not right now. Okay. Well. And while uh, Amos does his old planting, I'm going to try to loot that one motherfucker that I just killed. Nice. Um, while he's doing that, Rocco, Birch turn uh, looks at you. Just so you're aware, I suppose. Uh, I've been beating the fuck out of Marcus, and TT is scratching him repeatedly, and he finally broke and said that if they open the portal. You're going to have to deal with their battalion of blighters coming through. Oh. So, if you need me That's to destroy enough. the portal, let me know. I'll stand above it and slam down. I hear this from the other room and I just kind of pop my head in. We already kind of got that figured out. Oh! As far as destroying the portal. Okay. Well, if you need me, I'll be torturing Marcus. And he's back into the wall. <laughs> Sounds good. Let me know when you're close to killing him. It will do. do, do. Alright, I'm gonna finish up setting up the bomb over here real quick. Just, you All know, right. give it a nice little bow. Corvus. You know, put, you know, bedazzle it a little bit. It's nice. Like, like it's like that, um, that classic scene in a movie where, like, the missile says, for you, with a heart. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, Corvus, I'm just gonna say you're gonna loot the, all three of these guys just to make it quick, simple, and easy. Uh, you get... One potion of invisibility, 50 gold, a single racks, uh, like sacks worth, like ruck sacks worth alchemical ingredients, uh, which can be sold for various stuff, and I can list you the ingredients later on. You can just put like bag full of alchemical ingredients for now. Uh, if you want air quotes, expensive. Uh, let's uh, expensive. See. Yeah. Um, three different wizard books, so spell books, if you, if you want to take them. Uh, but they're wizard spell books. They're not they're like a dime a dozen. And then uh, this battle axe this guy has. This battle axe does not inherently look special. It looks like the magic king from the guy itself. So if you want the battle axe or his scale mail, you can take it. But other than that, uh, it doesn't look like these guys had too much. It looks like they've... In fact, looking at his scale mail, Corvus, I'll even tell you that because you're a fighter, you know armor. You know maintaining and keeping a well of armor. It looks like they may have been out of resources or capabilities to maintain themselves for a bit now. His armor is like rusted from the water and slightly missing a few chain links. So not worth that much? Not worth that much, probably slightly below average of a scale mill. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to leave that. I might take the battle axe for Amleth. Alright, the battle axe... Seen you will notice is sharpened. It is relatively kept nice. As you're looking through the armored guys... I'm going like, to use another security die maneuver tactical assessment. Okay. When you make an intelligence investigation, so on and so forth, you can expend one experiority die and add that to the ability set. Perfect. Let's see, let's see. 17. So you're you're maneuvering through this guy's uh, cloak and his boots and stuff. 
and you notice that the boots have something about them. Uh, you can't really tell what. You you look at his boots and it looks different. The 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 leather looks as if it's like well, first of all, completely dry. Like everything here is completely mucky and grim. It's completely clean. And his boots are completely a hundred percent clean. On top of that, it's like dry, as if it's been wicking off moisture. Uh, there's something off about it. As you hold it, like even your own sweat seems like it propelled off of the shoes. I'm taking those boots. All right. So st still eat his Nikes. Get his shoes. Get his shoes. Get his kicks. <laughs> Not the yadas. No. <laughs> um. Get his. Easies. Hey, Rocco. I want to try something. Yes. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, get over here. So, you see this oil oil bomb I have? You know, like ready to be lit on fire. Mm -hmm. You still have an Eldritch Blast ready, right? You mean a fireball? Yeah, I thought you had an Eldritch Blast. No, I have Fireball. Oh, that even works better. Um, so when I throw this after the bomb explodes, do you want to, like, throw it midair? Do you want to, like, cast it midair at the, at the actual oil and, like, make a, like, you want to make something cool happen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these fucking Yeezys over here, man. You're just like looking at it, enjoying it. All of a sudden, you just hear, yeah, yeah, and then Eldritch Blast! And then the fucking. I was just gonna like shake, so, shook in your area, <laughs> Corvus. Rocco and Almuth, you guys create essentially a hellfire bomb. Oh, shit. So the bomb goes off. Boosh! You throw the, the Molotov. And Rocco, you just do, 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 poof, ping it off it. And as you do, hellfire spreads within the area. All you see for just a moment, walking through the hellfire, as both the ladies behind him burn alive, screaming in agony. You killed them both. Uh, they did not have a lot of health. Walking through the new hole, with his cape on fire, he throws his cape to the side. You see bricks wielding a saber. So you're the ones that have been causing all this trouble. Bricks. Marcus is alive if you want to come peacefully. He took my <laughs> girl. He took my best friend. And you you killed everyone here. He gestures all around the chaos. And then points to you, the saber. And you expect me to come with you peacefully? You now we, just, we were just trying I'm... to make so we got our paperwork oh. all figured out. We said what we needed to say. Now we can get to fucking kill you. All well, right. Have to fun, be fair, one cast haste. <laughs> um, to be to be fair, they kind of did attack us first. I like that Corvus goes, "Time to fight." Rocker goes, "Haste," and then Omleth pulls up a book and pushes up his glasses. Actually, sir, <laughs> they attacked us first. They attacked us first, so I don't know what you're talking about here, guy. <laughs> he chuckles. I suppose if I trusted your word, I would believe. And with that, um, let's reroll initiative. Awesome. You Do I still have rage or is that gone now? I feel like it's been a few minutes. It has been a few minutes, yeah. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure. All right. Well, let's uh, go ahead and get that going. All right. Uh, 12 for me. 16. You haste more than once, can't you? What you mean? I'm not haste. Sorry. Rage. I got a 15 on initiative. You can rage more than once, right? Uh, let me double check that. Um, that would be fucking amazing. So, okay. it looks like you should have it equal to your proficiency bonus, no? So it takes. So is it doesn't say anything about doing it twice, but it also doesn't say anything about not doing it twice, as far as rage goes. Look, real quick. All it, look at the chart at the oh. top with like All uh, has your proficiency bonuses and what features you get at each level because it says you're level 5 right so you still have 3 rages yeah you have 3 rages left for a long rest oh wait what I have multiple fucking rages yeah so at 1 yeah. to 2 you, you have 2 this? rages 3 no. to 5 you have 3 rages 6 oh, to 11 shit. you have 4 rages 
Holy shit. Holy shit. I did not know that. That is amazing. All right. Let's, let's fucking, let's get this guy. Let's, let's like, <laughs> kick his ass. Let's get this motherfucker. I am so fucking fucked now. What the fuck? As long as we can get him with a in a minute. Holy shit. All, All right. right. Well, cool. Who goes first? Uh, it will be Bricks. Fuck you. Fuck you, Bricks. <laughs> Oh my god, I just saw- Okay, I didn't know what- uh, I got beyond... a 16 in my initiative, not a 14. Oh, my bad, my bad. I'll fix that real quick. Uh... I'll just dial that back. Uh... Oh wait, both me and Amleth have the same initiative. How do we decide this? Who's- Oh no, I have a- I, I got a 12, dude. 12? Oh. oh, I mixed you guys up! That's why I did- okay. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! Jesus, that's me. That's yeah, no, I rolled a- I rolled a 12. That's right, so it was Corvus with the 16. Rocco with a 15, and then Almuth with a 12. There we go. So, oh yeah, sorry. I, I didn't realize that <laughs> that d d Beyond has commenting on the spells, like the public spells. And I looked casually at Blight, and someone's only comment was, this is a neat spell. <laughs> oh yes! Plague! <laughs> neat. <laughs> so, so bad, uh... he starts talking. Rick starts talking, and you guys can't understand him. It's as if his voice sp sped up to fast forward. And it's like confusing words come out of his mouth and weave into your ears. All three of you, as is focused right here, give me a wisdom saving throw. I am gonna fucking fail. Oh fuck, same here. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a 12 for me, dog. It's a 14 for me. 11. You all oh, get a dice first with confusion. Interesting. Interesting. Let me roll. Okay. So every time on your turn, I will roll a d10 and there will be a behavior. Uh, whether it's moving in a random direction, you don't take any action, you attack a random creature, or they move and act normally. Ah. That's, uh... Gonna be a troublesome fight. That's pretty neat. <laughs> So, Corvus, on your turn as Brix casts Confusion, you see he's ready his saber in front of him. In a maneuver you're actually very familiar with, he's taking a parry maneuver. And with that, uh, Corvus, you get to act normally. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm going to rush right at him. Alright, you rush uh... directly at him, pushing past Amleth. Gonna straight up attack him three times since... Haste! Oh, lap. 19 hits? Yep. He goes to parry and you just kick his sword. You're like, fuck your parry! That's full damage, sad. Got you. We'll say that on the offhand of you stopping his 20, parry. I told you 20 hits? Yeah, that really hits, definitely. I'm pretty sure once he said 19 hits, I'm pretty sure anything about that hits. <laughs> yeah. Nah. I got a nice solid eight. All right, not bad, not bad. Eight motherfucking shit, Blix. That's a nat twenty. Nat twenty. Wait, you got a nat twenty? Excuse me. You got a nineteen, a dirty twenty, and then a nat twenty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's badass. Fuck you. That's a badass. That's amazing. Oh, let's see that damage. Ooh. That's just tw plain 12 damage. Nice, so 12. But that eight. is 18 damage in total. That's it. All right. Did you add your dex to any of that, or is it already added to your damage? It's already added. Perfect, perfect. A okay. dex is strength. Sorry, strength. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, it's uh, already added. Yeah, so you you just out-experience him. You, you took him doing a maneuver as like a low-key insult. Like, oh, you think you're as good as me? You think you're as good as me? You came in, slammed his sword into the wall, and just impaled him. He's not dead, but my god, have you mixed his guts up. You kicked him back a little bit. He went to swing at you again. You just ducked and swiped at his stomach outright, cutting it all the way across. There he is holding his gut, bleeding, heaving heavily. You go through that final, he does a, a, a now desperate swing, and this is where the nat 20 comes in. You just sock him in the face, and chop his left arm hand off. Ain't fucking shit. You fucking dismembered this fucker. 
Don't test me. Is he alive? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just... But barely. I'm just going to move around him, not far enough away so he can get opportunity attack, so Ameth can come in and finish this motherfucker off. Just take a Thank step. You. All right, it'll be Rocco then Alma. So Rocco, anything you want to do to pimp, pump, pimp up uh, anyone? Am I uh, am I confused? That is right. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, all right. You have to attack a random creature nearby. So that would be Almleth, which is closest. Oh, God. Punch him! <laughs> you're, to be fair, you're the sorcerer. I think he punched by a sorcerer. It's okay. I'm going to stab him with my dagger. Nice. <laughs> I said better be a weak fucking stab. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Alan. He's just getting bullied. <laughs> Literally, I, like, I feel like most of the damage that's been done to me in this entire campaign has just been by you two. <laughs> like, to be honest. Right, so, what, what, what's your attack, Rocco? Oh, three. <laughs> Rocco, you're, so, Alma, you oh, just... Oh, sorry, four. Four? Oh, very close. Oh. <laughs> so, Alma, if you just look over at Rocco, his eyes are blurred, and it seems as if he sees you as bricks. He goes to swing, and you just put your your hand on his forehead, and you're like, "Oh, little wizard!" Oh, young one, you could never hurt me. Bye, Ken. Return, Momleth. What would you like to do? Uh, well, I'm hit with confusion, so that's up for you to decide. All right, I keep forgetting. I just said, and I keep forgetting it. Jesus Christ! <laughs> we will make you fun. Oh yes, the social got hit with confusion and now has to attack. But oh no, the barbarian was hit with confusion and now has to attack. You attack and, you a know, random a real... person attacking Rocco. Oh man, I was actually kind of hoping you would say that. <laughs> okay, and this is for my action? Use up your entire turn. Uh, so, who wants to die first? I think it's you're just hitting Rocco because he's the closest one. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Rocco, for speaking up. I appreciate it. <laughs> just kidding. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just going to... Let's see. What would be the most me thing to do? Hmm. So slaughter a fucking so slaw. Well, first I'm gonna take my bonus action. I'm gonna rage. You really trying to kill so slaw? Oh no 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 no! Don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll plan this out pretty nicely. Yeah, all you now, do is a, after... a normal melee attack. It's a single melee attack for this. Right. So I'm just gonna punch the shit out of him. Just break his fucking nose. Wow. Wow, you might have actually gotten away with it. Holy shit. Uh, there's an 11 hit? My armor class is 11. Do I get hit or not? I don't remember. Uh, if you it do meets, get hit. It, yeah, you do get hit. Damn. That's be a... So you get uh, five damage. And he's dead. <laughs> the sorcerer falls over. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> no saving rolls. No death saving rolls. No nothing. He just plain dead. His sponge I his saw face. Rocco I saw Rocco do this to me and my immediate instinct was to just slug him as hard as I can. Just fucking punch him, deck him across the face. Does that knock him out of his confusion? You know what? No. Okay. <laughs> I had this moment where I looked at a spell and went, maybe no never mind. It explicitly says But he does have fight. to do a concentration save. He does for you because oh, you hit no. him. Hey, I'm yeah. sorry, but I have. Yeah, no, no, no. That's I was gonna say that. Uh, I was gonna say I really hope it doesn't bring him out of confusion. Uh, dirty twenty. All right, you're good. You're good. You're still focused. <laughs> you're good. All right, and with that, Bricks is gonna take his turn, and he turns to you, Corvus. Give me a comment. I'm just flipping him off at this point angry and knowing that he can't outdo you with blades you see his hands start to rot into the skeletal hand as he goes to touch you is it touch no it's ranged never mind he goes and cast it the skeletal hand grabs your leg go to give me a constitution saving throw as you feel this blight start digging into your leg yeah eat fucking shit 24. Oh, fuck. you can't <laughs> fuck with the undead <laughs> you just hear him say super quietly, fuck. Fuck. God. <laughs> okay. Oh my um, god, that's fucking hilarious, dude. That's Holy amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so half of 33 to be 60. 
Okay, and so 16 necrotic what? damage, but that heals you, right, Corvus? I don't know, actually. You're, you're undead, right? Oh my god. I don't know if that heals like, actually do count as undead. Let me let me look it up. Damn pure on D and D. You're either gonna take like a de like decent amount okay. of damage, or you're gonna take some healing. I get healed. You get healed. Sixteen points of health. Looking at you, shocked as the blight enters your body, you almost let it. You're just like, you know what? <clears throat> this feels pretty good, actually. You get your wounds re-knit. Two things happen. Amath and Rocco, you're extremely confused. Amath, you got hit by the same spell and you almost died. And you're very aware of what that spell looks like. Brix is confused. He did not cast a healing spell. Everyone in the room is confused but Corvus. Eh, fuck you too. Corvus, your turn. And I'm going to kill him. Yeah, I, I thought so. What about his confusion? That's also true. Well, yes. Yeah, confusing. What is yes. it? Oh my god. You're the only one who gets to act normal. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Corvus just a, not giving a single a, fuck. Uh, 24. Yeah. Man, that is just an evil laugh. Alright, let's see that damage. 10. Yeah, you, you kill him. You behead bricks, sending it flying. All of you, your confusion fades. Rocco, you're holding your nose bloody. Alma, if you look at your stab wound. Um, but, and then Corvus, you're actually feeling fine. You just got healed. <laughs> Initiative oh. ends. But, I'm hello? so sorry I slashed you. Get glitched out. Oh my no. I get glitched out. Oh, here. Oh, sorry. Everything's uh -oh. good. You're able to loot and do all that. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to fucking loot bricks. <laughs> Absolutely. So he has a rapier. Uh, it is a plus one rapier, just nothing too special, just plus one. Uh, he has fancy clothes, like nice clothes, really nice clothes. Like, everyone else looks ragged and like they've been struggling. He looks well taken care of. Uh, then you can also take, let's see, a hundred gold and a necklace that has him and uh, Lin on it. Aw, how cute. It is a gold necklace with a ruby on the outside. Worth, maybe, you, you would roughly guesstimate about 150 gold. God damn, I'm just fucking damn. Right, and then with that, you guys are good. You see the portal swirling. The ladies over there are uh, burned. In fact, all of their gear is burned. Their clothes burned. They look like, like, um napalm victims from the hellfire the portal itself is swirling but not active from behind you guys the troll mm. looks like you did good work yeah now break the portal a deal's a deal you don't we also have to take like something from bricks like his heart his head whatever he looks to you do you need help getting that out the, the heart. I, I don't think so. He goes and takes a claw and just subtly cuts open the entirety of his chest, just going down and down. How about uh, it? Wait, what the fuck just happened? I was gone for two minutes and here we are talking about disemboweling people. What, what, what happened? Uh, the, the troll is cutting open bricks so that you guys can get his heart or head. Where the fuck did this guy come from? The troll's from over here. He was like, Mm, good fight, and he goes and starts destroying the portal. Oh, and I found out some pretty good shit. Yeah, he found oh. some pretty good shit too. I found out rapier plus one, technically two hundred fifty gold. Nice, good stuff. Uh, wow, I missed a lot in the span of two minutes. Holy shit! In this one fight, I went from like two hundred twenty-two to like three hundred twenty-two, not three hundred, five hundred twenty-two gold. Is Good shit, man. Mm -hmm. The troll, you see, he just starts to destroy the well. Kicks it, breaks it, everything. You see the magic starts seeping back into the river. In the background, now to get a moment of respite, you guys see this way. Uh, if you'd like to go this way, or go either way, or if just looking casually, uh, you can see a sparkling underground river. Gotcha. 
In fact, <laughs> Corvus, as you look, you see this plant right in the middle is a foreign plant you've never seen before. It what in the fuck? Slowly pulses like a heartbeat. Catch it. Duck, 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 duck. Every now and then, one of the orange areas spews out this gross orange ooze, and you see it enters the, sw uh, the stream, and it starts to turn into the sparkles within the water. I want to touch it. <laughs> All right, Josh, you, can, you can wade through the water. You'd have to do a small swim, but you can get to it. I'm just going to stay over here and I don't recognize it. We're trying to sense what it is, like Arcana check. Yeah, if you two want to do an Arcana check, I'm if you can either swim or take the boat and try to go across. I will. Eight motherfucking shit, not twenty. Oh my God. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go on my little boat. I'm gonna okay. have a good time. You go on your little boat. You cross the the the, le the edge all the way over here, and as you're about to touch it, Corvus, you at first weren't sure what this is, but then you get a flashback to the Underdark, a real bad flashback. One of your contracts. Uh, you you didn't have to face it yourself, but you saw one of the rooms you entered was this. You it's very vague. It was one of the werewolf hunts or something like that. You you went down and you followed it, and you just saw this thing. And sitting all around it were people with this roots dug inside it, being pumped full of the stuff. Abba, don't toss it. What? Get away from it. Why? Why? What's wrong with that? And it's from the underdog. That makes me want to touch it more. It will take control of you. It's not something you should touch. I've seen people affected by it. it they had roots in them. Roots? Last, like yeah. kill roots? Last you saw uh, Corvus, those people became vegetables, unable to disconnect from the roots. Oh. Yeah, I'm so we lay, gonna... we lay that back to Amleth. Uh, yeah, I, I'm still very compelled to touch it, but I, I won't touch it, apparently. So I'm just going to go on my little boat. I'm going <laughs> to take a nice little leisure all around. Looking around, go Amleth, over here. you will see over here Maybe. are massive gem. They look <clears throat> the same color as the actual thing itself. In fact, Corvus, once again, these are under Dark Chip. Something that Snurf Niblin would have mined. They're bright purple and luminescent. Whenever a light goes through them, they shine a rainbow that changes the light. Are they safe to touch? Yeah, they're safe to touch. They're actually quite Oh, uh, you can touch. Oh, uh, dude, you guys, I found treasure. Take that. Take that shit. That's under Dark Shit. Safe yeah, to touch. Give me all of it. Yeah, you, dude, I'll take all of it. Give me all of it. About 500 golds worth of gems, easy. And hidden behind the gem, you move a, a massive gem, and you actually find a chest that has a note from Bricks that says, Do not touch! Touch it! Touch it! Touch it! I, I, I touch it maliciously. Below Surprise! I'm a mimic! Is a entire note notage of bricks it is his personal belongings chest it has a note uh detailing where the portal will go to it actually would have taken you guys all the way to the north to the capital straight to the west of the capital is a hidden rebellion camp of lighters and wizards this rebellion camp um they're going to bring forth roughly as you read 30 wizards and a corporal through oh with that you also find uh, numerous books, spell books, magic books, stuff that you don't fully understand but look very valuable. They have like gold lacing. There's one about um, dragons and how to and how their spells originated. Um, draconic lineage. There is underdark lineage. There is um, you even see one about mind flayers, the mind flayers tactics and survival guide. I kind of grab the mind flare one and I kind of stare at it a little bit because I do kind of recognize it um because uh what was that one yeah that that uh the fucking gesture. bard that remember that bard that came mm -hmm. by and he like gave me the it, weird shit yeah the elitium or whatever you pronounce that electrum. coin type electrum yeah mm -hmm. yeah 
because I recognize that, I'm very drawn to the Mind Flare book, especially. You can maybe flip through the pages, even just trying to see like if it looks familiar. It's written in common. And almost immediately, I'm... you would see the coinage is Electrum. Huh? You see almost immediately that while looking through the book, just a very light breeze looking through. Almost like in the, the actual, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, list of uh, all the like subjects within the book there is one that actually says economy like currency you flip to it real quick and you actually see electrum pieces oh and how much is that worth nothing in the overworld but they're priceless on the other dark guys we're going on a field trip well well um is it too late to call dibs I'll split it with Rocco. Yeah, you, you guys <laughs> found it. Well, you found it. You could, you make the call. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna split it with Rocco. You 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 seem like you've already got your hands full with a bunch of other stuff. Books and all. Just <laughs> so juggling a battle axe and a rapio along with multiple sacks full of gold. Yep. And now taking your boat back across Alma, you have 500 golds worth of gems, and his personal chest. With that, you guys hear the troll come out. Mm, everything's destroyed. Now do me a favor and get the fuck out of my cave. And have a good day. Yeah, you too, man. We got all the things that we wanted, so have a good one. You too, bye. Mm. You as well. Cornelius, yes. what do you want to do with this thing over there? Pointing at the, the vegetable underdark thing. Mmm. Ah, that's um, here when I moved in. Uh, I found an entire cult of people. Uh, if you take boat downstream, you find their old home. Uh, there are a ton of old, old cultist shit. Uh, locked it up myself. Don't like it. Don't touch that. It, uh, last person I found, they were trying to sap the magic from it to poison town, and they poisoned themselves. Oh, you yeah, fucking idiots messing with underdog shit. Mm -hmm. Um... Are we allowed to go down the river? Would you be okay with that? Or do you want us to get out entirely? Mm. He like crosses his arms. If you promise to take some of that sh cult of shit away, you can go. I'm down for that. Do you guys want to go? More looted? More looted? Fuck yeah. Yeah, more looting. Might as well. I barely done anything. Rocco, uh, I'm going to have you take a look at through some of these books. Uh, they... they they're pretty valuable, so I'm assuming that you'll learn some pretty high-level stuff. All right. I go this wonder. map. I actually used this map in one of my own games. Nice, nice. I was considering using it, but I was like, nah, it looks so good for like a ruins, you know? And if you like that video and like to see more content, please drop a like and subscribe to Wolfer28, or to give us a follow and a rating on both Spotify and iTunes as Bardic Logs. Thank you very much, and we hope to see you next time.